My name's John Twilly, I'm 26. I'm from Milton Keynes and I work in IT. I'm feeling quite nervous about the challenge in some respects. I think it's gonna be difficult to try and stay on track. My current diet and lifestyle is quite bad, to be honest. My main motivation for taking part is, is probably uh, just to get healthy. Um, I'm getting married next year, so that's uh, definitely a key thing that I was looking at trying to get ready for that. I think what's really appealing about the, the meal plan that I've got and the diet I'm going to go on with Greg's is that there is so much to choose from. Most people would look at somewhere like Greg's and think um, how I'm meant to lose weight eating steak bakes, but they, they've got lots of different variety. John does a lot of travelling with work and so historically his food choices have been quite reactive and for this diet to be successful he is going to have to do some planning and I'm not sure he's used to that. So it's day one of the challenge. I do like my food so I think um, it's going to be a little bit of a struggle. Day four, I think the first couple of days I was quite hungry um, and I was struggling sort of not being able to choose what I want. I think I'm feeling a lot healthier, I think I feel a lot more awake, I think I'm finding it easier to get up in the mornings, I'm finding it easier to, um, <clears throat> to go out and exercise. Um, just yeah, just in general everything just seems ten times better. I'm finding the exercise all right. It's been quite nice weather so it's quite easy to get out and about. The food and the porridge and that kind of thing we have in the mornings is a bit of a slow burner when it comes to energy. So after I've been out, if I've eaten beforehand, then I still feel pretty good. Um, we're in the second week now and I'm feeling really good about it to be fair. Um, it is quite difficult travelling and getting food, but there's a lot of Greg's around the country which definitely helps. Different flavours and fruit and the nuts and the different things, you can mix it up and change it. It just keeps it quite interesting. So it is Friday and weigh-in day. It's getting towards the end of week two. I'm starting to struggle a little bit with some things. Lots of my friends are going out and they're planning these barbecues and nights out and stuff. And obviously I'm trying to be really good. Um, and I don't think on the Greg's diet, it's quite, it's quite up to it. So it's um, it's just gone seven in the morning. Just picked up my lunch for the day. I've gone for the chicken mayo sub, which um, is a bit of a favorite of mine. To be fair, I didn't really think I'd be able to eat many mayonnaise and type things um, whilst on a diet, so happy days. I'm feeling really good about the results from my weight loss. At the beginning, I was a little bit worried about what was going to happen and how well it was going to go and that kind of stuff. You see that there's a significant change in your waist, which is brilliant, and that's what you need to hone in on, I think. I've been on some clothes today that I haven't worn in a while, and I found the Greg's Challenge quite difficult to start with. After the first few days, my body started to get used to it, and then obviously my body liked having all these new nutrients, and I had a suit fit in a couple of weeks into the challenge, and I'd already gone down a suit size. I think uh, this diet is a lot easier to follow, because there is the variety in the stores. I am excited about the wedding. I'm really excited. I've got a goal of the size of trousers and suit jacket I want to fit into. And obviously I'm, I'm a part of the way there now. This is a really good stepping stone. I'm so used to what I had to do that to carry it on now should be, should be relatively easy. He's made a massive, massive lifestyle change, which is brilliant. 